Hello. Welcome to this short module on compressor system analysis or compressor analysis using dynamic simulation. In this short module you will learn, revise or refresh the following. What is compressor and compressor system analysis? Key objectives of compressor system analysis. Names of common software or tools used to perform compressor system analysis and more importantly step-by-step -step sample project example. Who this module is for? This presentation is for engineers, technical and engineering managers, professionals, students and anyone else who is interested in this topic. What is compressor? Compression is used in all aspects of the natural gas industry, including gas lift, reinjection of gas for pressure maintenance, gas gathering, gas processing operations, transmission and distribution systems, and reducing the gas volume for shipment by tankers or for storage. Centrifugal and reciprocating compressors are primarily used in the natural gas compression. Screw, lobe and vane type compressors are used mainly in specialized services. Maximum allowable operating pressure and temperature are used as a guide to design body and main parts of the compressor. A dynamic simulation study is required to verify the operability and controllability of the new compression system, especially in terms of anti-surge protection during normal, shutdown and startup operations. Compressor system analysis refers to using dynamic simulation which demonstrate the actual performance of the compressor and its control system. Compressor analysis also includes the improvements that can be made to the system. Compressor vendors typically require to evaluate the performance of the compression modules in a system under various operating scenarios. Key objectives of the compressor system analysis are Confirm stability of plant's control systems during changes in operating conditions. Confirm the performance of anti-surge, capacity and load sharing control system. Confirm the operational envelope for acceptable performance including turn-up and turn-down capability and provide settings for all instruments and controller tuning parameters. Confirm start-up and shut-down procedures to achieve a safe and efficient operation. Advise on modifications to ensure safe and efficient operation, if necessary. Propose tuning parameters for anti-surge control systems. Depending upon the project requirements, there is a range of commonly used software, or, tools such as HiSys, Unisim, and, pipeline simulators that are used for compressor system analysis. Here is a sample project example. The primary objective of the Lube Base Oil Plant, LBO, at Diesen facility, is to selectively remove waxes, and paraffins, from the hydro wax, or, Unconverted oil feedstock using an isomerization dewaxing catalyst in the presence of hydrogen at a pressure of about 150 kg per centimeter square and a temperature of 340 degrees Celsius, dewaxing, and 240 degrees Celsius, hydro finishing. The ultimate objective is to meet the viscosity and pour point specifications of the base oil products that are run down from the vacuum distillation column. The catalytic reaction is accomplished by circulating hydrogen-rich gas throughout the reactor circuit via a recycle gas compressor PCH1901. A dynamic simulation study is required to verify the operability and controllability of the new compression system, especially in terms of anti-surge protection during normal, shutdown and startup operations. The cases run are, emergency shutdown, startup from settled out condition, normal stop and normal start. With only the anti-surge valve FV205, a mild surge occurs during emergency shutdown for a duration of 1.14 seconds, above compressor critical speed of 5,300 revolutions per minute. The settled out pressure of the system after ESD without depressurization and with air cooler trip is about 151.3 kg per centimeter square. No reversal rotation of the compressor is observed above critical speed. Recycle gas compression unit PCH1901 does not surge above first critical speed of 5,300 revolutions per minute for any disturbances caused by startup from settled out condition and normal start as per hot startup and cold startup curve respectively. The compressor suction pressure during normal startup does not go to vacuum when it is started whereas the system pressure is at 55 kg per centimeter square and is filled with makeup hydrogen. 
For the normal stop base case, the compressor suction knockout drum pressure safety valve, PSV145A, opens after stopping hydro wax feed when most of the lines become liquid free. The following modifications were made for this run to prevent PSV145A from opening. When hydro wax feed is ramped down to 65% of design flow, the compressor is concurrently ramped down to 7750 revolutions per minute, in the same duration. When hydro wax feed is totally stopped, makeup hydrogen is also stopped for a short period of 10 minutes and resumed when the system is stabilized. With the above modifications, the system pressure remains well below the set pressure of PSV145A. Compressor does not surge above the critical speed of 5300 revolutions per minute, and no reversal rotation of the compressor is observed above critical speed. Following is a brief outline of the methodology of project execution. Some images and graphics may not be very clear, but they will still give viewer or reader an overview of the sequence of steps involved in dynamic simulation. Dynamic model is prepared around the compressor, up to the isolation valves incorporating all pipe work and equipment volumes. This predicts time-based behavior of the plant upon upset. This model is prepared and stabilized on pressure boundary and matched to actual heat and mass within a tolerance of less than 3%. Anti-surge loop including pressure safety valve PSV and controller are modeled and programmed. Surge calculator spreadsheet is prepared. All equipment, reactors, exchanges, vessels, PSVs, and their relevant controllers are modeled. Compressor details are input which include compressor curves. This is compressor inertia sheet. This is compressor motor torque. Trip sequence is entered into the event scheduler. Dynamic run is executed, end results are exported to Excel and plotted. In this particular project, Compressor surge is 1.19 seconds. Sensitivity runs are performed. Here are some further relevant plots of the results. For example, base case run. This plot is for anti-surge valve optimized. Similarly all scenarios are run which include Emergency stop, normal stop, settle out conditions, cold and hot startup. To highlight operational problems, sensitivity analysis or sensitivities are run to mitigate the problems. Subsequently recommendations are proposed in the following sequence. Adjust anti-surge valve and controller tuning parameters. Adjust operational sequence. Propose optimized hardware modification where above solution will not be sufficient. Here are some relevant past, present and ongoing projects for your reference. That is the end of this short module on compressor system analysis or compressor analysis using dynamic simulation. Please feel welcome to contact us at info at hjs-tech.com, should you have any comments or if you want to inquire about the following remote engineering services. Thank you for watching.